Most people don't think about their tires very much, especially when the weather is nice. But when winter weather turns nasty and you're trying to get home from work or pick up the kids from school, you better know if your tires are up to the task of getting you there safely. Slipping and sliding or gripping and driving? What will your tires do when you need them the most? To find out, we've come to northern Sweden, up near the Arctic Circle, and home to one of the best winter test facilities in the world. No matter what the winter's like back home, it's here we get the controlled conditions we need to get you the answer. It's relatively easy for most ultra high performance all season tires to deliver impressive drying with traction. Performing in winter driving conditions can be a different matter, and it's often the big separator among tires in this large product category. Today we're comparing the BF Goodrich Comp 2 AS, Dunlop Signature HP, General G-Max AS05, and Yokohama Advanced Sport AS. We've already compared these tires out on the road and on our handling track in dry and wet conditions, and you can find that test report on our website. Winter tires always deliver the best performance for wintertime driving, but for some drivers, the only option is to use one tire all year long. So today we're going to find out how well this group of tires performs in the snow and on the ice. In snow, the BF Goodrich Comp 2 AS delivered impressive performance for a tire in the ultra high performance all season category. Anecdotally, we've placed this tire at or near the front of the UHP all season category for outright traction and controllability in the snow. Right on its heels was the General G-Max AS05. This tire took slightly longer to accelerate and brake when relying on electronic traction control and anti-lock brake systems, but displayed more tolerance for higher wheel spin and slip angles when driven with traction control turned off. The Yokohama Advanced Sport AS delivered adequate acceleration and braking traction, but fell a little short in stability during more abrupt handling maneuvers. And the Dunlop Signature HP trailed the others, providing moderate traction to start, stop, and turn our test car. Traction to start and stop our test car on ice was very similar across all four tires in our test, and at a level not close to dedicated winter tires or even regular passenger all-season tires. As we compare tires side by side, we find each one has its own personality. It's not as easy as choosing between good and bad. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities and think about the worst weather you're going to encounter to know what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And be sure to go to TireRack.com for the complete test report and to learn more about the tires featured in this test.